let me take y'all back, man, to February 2020. This is a month before the global pandemic COVID-19 hit and changed the world and effectively life as we know it. And uh, for context, I'm a junior in high school at this point. I'm 16 years old. And I had just gotten rejected by this girl that I was talking to for like two months. I was so into this girl and I got rejected and I was fucking devastated. Right before she rejected me though, <clears throat> I discovered the red pill movement. I discovered it from Patrice O'Neill. All I did for like the weeks after I got rejected was listen to the Black Phillip show on repeat. And I basically found, you might call it degenerate or whatever, but I had this newfound confidence, right? As a man. And I was so fucking ready to go into the rest of junior and senior year and just fuck, basically. That was all that was on my mind. And I was so fucking confident. I just remember that. <sighs> Looking back on it might not have been the best thing. But regardless, it, it, was, it was what I needed to go through at the time. I was so ready. And then March hits. And then we hear about this coronavirus. And then April hits. And we are locked down. We can't go to school anymore. We're online now. And I failed every fucking online class that I took. Every single one, except for like English 4, which is what I needed to pass. I still ended up graduating with a uh, like a 3.7 GPA. I was shocked um, because I failed so many classes and I didn't go to university after high school. I wasn't that fortunate. A lot of people out there have very rich parents who are willing to spend thousands and thousands of dollars on their child's uh, useless education. You know, some of these kids go for real degrees like computer science and computer engineering, other STEM things but like so many of these people i know my age that go to university go for these stupid fucking degrees and it's class like half the time most of it is partying and stuff like this and i used to be pretty salty i was pretty upset and i know most of gen z most men of gen z that didn't go to university feel the same way they're very upset that they're not able to be in this environment where you are guaranteed like social access to everything like parties women other men, things that, that are just fun. Like the best part of being a, a youth basically is the social aspect. And after high school, basically, and not having that is, uh, has driven a lot of young men to, to very, very tough states of mind. I'll just put it that way. I mean, I, I know a lot of guys who are out there that are suicidal, like, depressed don't even want to leave the house like it's it's pretty shitty and then i see videos on youtube of people my age gen z just out of high school basically we're still kids i'm only 20 i mean and they're just depressed like they make these videos and they only play on the sad aspect like oh, i don't like gerber johnson i've shot on this guy before but I understand where he's coming from with the being upset about basically life. Here's the thing though. I am so glad. I'm very grateful for everything that has happened to me in my life. I'm not saying I'm glad a global pandemic happened and killed millions of people. That's not what I said. I said I'm grateful for everything that's happened to me in my life. I'm grateful that I had to go through COVID. I may, I may have had the best years of my life drastically changed, but it made me the person I am today. And I have to be thankful for that. I have been so much more disciplined with exercise, with, I mean, starting a business like this YouTube channel here. I don't think I'd be doing this if it weren't for, for what happened to me post COVID, which is where I'm at now. I don't feel, I don't get that vibe from other men. I, they don't, they're not grateful. They're all bitter. And you can't go forward with a bitter mentality. It's just not going to serve you. And that's the bottom line. Like, okay, you're not in university. So fucking what, dude? You can still be social. You can still go out. Sure, you're not going to meet a lot of women your age. You're not a lot of guys your age. But just be more social. You can find, you can meet people that are older than you, that are more successful than you. And you can learn from them. You can develop from that. 
you don't have to isolate yourself and and have this fucking pity party at your house oh fucking coronavirus ruined my life Ooh, i didn't go to university because my parents don't have enough money it's like dude fucking suck it up and do something about it you can't sit there i'm so glad i i, I discovered this mentality instead of the other one i'm so glad i found red pill and I, I just became a tough mindset motherfucker that hated bitching. Every time one of my friends bitches, I want to fucking smack them. And I tell them that. And guess what? They stop bitching. They're all positive now all of a sudden. I don't want to take credit for that, but I know I had a huge influence on the people around me with general positivity. And that came from confidence. Okay? Like, now I've kind of passed the red pill. I don't agree with everything that it says, but it's a crucial step for young men because you basically get fucked with this knowledge, this superior knowledge from where you are now, which is kind of just a blue pill beta. You're upset about things. You're all low confidence. You walk around with your shoulders hunched and you're afraid to talk to women and you're barely consistent in the gym and you don't make any fucking money. Basically, when you get red pilled, you realize all these things, but then you realize that your future is dependent on you, you alone, nobody else. Nobody's coming to save you. And you realize, from what I learned from Patrice's, Patrice O'Neill's show, is basically you're a fucking man. You have every reason to be confident. You have no reason to be afraid of talking to women, first off. Like, you're a dude. She's like 5'4", 110. What are you afraid of? You're literally, a, you're cool. You're a fucking guy. We do cool shit as men. You have no reason to not be confident. And I see th this fucking Gen Z sob story everywhere. And it drives me fucking crazy. It's like, where's the influences that are making us tougher, that are, that are making us confident? Instead of all these guys like coming together, like all, all depressed and shit. Like, I, I want to I wanna smack you every time I read one of these comments. It's like, it's so hard for me uh, post-COVID. Okay, man. Yeah, it's fucking hard. But you're online bitching about it. You have time to do something about it, man. Be a, be a fucking man. Do you think your grandfather would have gone through COVID with the same bitch mentality that you would have? No, your grandfather was a fucking G. He would have broken lockdown rules. He would have gone out and he would have fucked anyway. He would have been doing shit. And then post COVID, he would have gone and fucked the world. He would have penetrated the world like a fucking man does. You're not supposed to sit inside all day and bitch about what happened to you. Guess what? It happened to all of us. I can't like sit by and keep watching this. I like that was the main reason I started this YouTube channel was I wanted to go out and I wanted to give my perspective on things, which is quit fucking bitching, dude. Oh my God. <laughs> that's, that's like my main message is quit bitching. If you could take one thing away from this, it's quit bitching and do something about it. Fucking change your life, man. Go do something about it. So what does my life look like now? Basically, what have I done about it? I started running because I hate running. A lot of that influence came from David Goggins, obviously. Stay hard. They don't know me, son. Who's going to carry the boats? Shit like that. So I run now. My knees started hurting, so I'm running less, but I'm still running at least a mile a day. And I run to the gym, and I go and hit a hard fucking workout. I'm, I want to throw up sometimes during these workouts, but I'm, I'm building a, a much better physique. I'm, I'm fucking so glad that I have grown this discipline to do this. I don't think if I had gone through high school normally, I don't think I would have the discipline that I have now. I think I would have become complacent with life. I'm kind of glad that it, it sucked as much as it did after high school. Because <laughs> if it had and I don't even want to know where I'd be. I'd probably still be playing video games. I mean, I was... I wasn't complacent after high school. It was just shitty enough. It was so shitty. I was so bored that I started working 65 to 70 hours a week out of high school. I was that fucking bored. All of my friends had different schedules. I couldn't hang out with everybody. A lot of my friends went off to university. So here I am with extra free time. I'm working two jobs, sometimes 35 hours each a week. And I started, I picked up a job working on diesel engines for fun. So I'm, I, I, that's the, the kind of boredom that I was going through. But video games wouldn't satisfy that. Like I had to just go start doing shit. And then working with, with real men, basically, you work with these, these tradesmen. Like these guys are diesel technicians. And 
you just realize like, damn, bro, like I, I kind of became like conservative from these guys, like fucking goddamn the world's full of pussies and all this shit. Like that kind of mindset really pushed me to go further. If I had been soft, like, no, it's okay. It, uh, you know, I, I didn't get to go to my college that I wanted to, but it's okay because, uh, you know, in the end where we all uh, the same grave or something like life will humble us all. And, uh, you know, I don't, I don't need to, I don't want to get rich anyway. I, if I had had this complacent mentality that these fucking beta males had, I know I would not be pushing as hard as I am today. As far as money goes, I am planning on turning this channel into a business. If you see the past few videos that I've had have consistently gotten over a hundred views. It take me, took me a very long time to get to that point of that level of consistency. And I'm starting to figure out the game a little more and how to get more views. And I'm going to start selling something pretty soon. Information, maybe courses, maybe one-on-one -on -one fucking coaching. I hate that fucking term, but you know, there's some men out there that really need to hear this shit and they will pay for it because they know that they need it. I'm here. I know I can do something basically about the shit position that I'm in. I don't think I can sit here and bitch and just, just have this fucking sad music playing in my mind like some fucking pussy. I mean, I couldn't, I'd, I'd rather fucking die. <laughs> That's kind of my, my experience post high school as Gen Z. I know not everybody's had the same experience. Um, you should join my discord link in the description and in the comments and tell me what you think. I'd love to have a conversation. All, all of my boys in the, in the discord, we'd love to talk to you. So we're waiting.